Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, keep an eye on inflation. Uh, one of the side effects of printing all the money and letting loose and lowering the interest rates at which uh, banks are lent money by the Federal Reserve is, in effect, more money is being printed. Core inflation was up a little bit for the last number of PPI, producer price index showing down. Uh, but uh, compare uh, when you compare the core inflation rate year to year, it gives us some cause for concern and reminds us that the fear trade will remain a huge factor in gold. Gold, of course, trading around 1651, 52 this morning. We see any trades above 1600 as being very, very good for our projected 2450 this year. Uh, indeed, uh, the resistance level is now between 1735 and 1750, indicating that trades in the range between, in our opinion, uh, 1600 and uh, 1733, 1735 uh, are signs that gold is getting ready for that big up move. We encouraged our clients to lay low this week. Uh, part of the reason we encourage our clients to lay low this week is we have to let seep out into the market the idea that the euro is not going to be destroyed. That somehow the bumbling of the Europeans is going to continue and uh, that uh, things will not cause a financial cataclysm that spreads around the world. So part of our view is that if you have your profits in gold, which you surely should have, uh, expect to keep those positions intact for a little while as, as quote unquote, the bottom begins to form, as it were. Uh, now, I also want to point out to you that what I just said relates to the fear trade. Uh, the fear trade is going to be one of the predominant factors throughout the rest of this year uh, in gold, in part because the debts of all developed and, I can't even say undeveloped, uh, I don't know what the opposite of undeveloped world, uh, the government debt continues to soar uh, between the principal European countries, the United States and Japan, there's $8 trillion, $8 trillion in debt payments due this year. And that number, of course, is likely to grow. So the fear trade is going to be a major factor in the gold area. Uh, in addition, if you look back uh, over the last uh, 10 years, uh, you will see that uh, e basically every commodity did better than the S&P 500. So that's better than 2.5% per year. Uh, so every commodity did better. So when you're thinking about your investment strategy, should you really have 80 to 90% of your money in U.S. stocks? Or should you have some alternatives that will give you solid performance regardless of the movement of the U.S. stock market? Now, I'm not telling you to buy gold and rare earths. I'm just trying to plant a seed of awareness. Uh, we're also not all that concerned about the Chinese economy because we told you the Chinese economy was going to stumble eight or nine months ago. And we, it's stumbling, and it's going to continue to stumble. And one of the core reasons, don't be deceived by the discussion about economics. The stumbling is caused by political instability. Chinese people are getting information in about what's going on around the world, and they are fighting back to, on the course of freedom. And the Chinese communists are going to suffer the same fate as the Russian communists. I won't go down and talk about Putin right now. Uh, but the, the, rep the savage repression by the 610 office is going to produce the same result it's produced every place else in the world. There's going to be a gradual releasing of, uh, excuse me, a gradual increase in personal freedom at the cost of uh, political violence. So keep that in mind. The Chinese story is really a political story, and it's not really an economic story. Um, that's all we have for this morning. Uh, food for thought, we hope. Food for thought for us uh, about some trading ideas for today. If you want trading ideas for today, give me or Al a shout on 781-380-8888. But we see this week as being a quiet period and uh, waiting for the next shoe to drop. And if you're in gold already, you're going to have some profitability. If you're not in gold, you really need to get in because the next up move could be the explosive up move to 22,300. This is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day.